I was here for the early part of the hearing and I watched you on television in my office. I have a few very simple questions. Ms. Shrug, you just indicated you are not proud and you are not enthusiastic. Can you say in English that you are ashamed of what you and your company and the other companies have done? Congressman, I, I actually can't. Can't. I cannot say that. I, I, as, as, I, as I alluded to earlier, I don't think it's fair to say that we're ashamed of what we've done. I'm not asking for fairness. I'm asking for your judgment. I, I am not you, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I am not ashamed of it, and I am not proud of it. it, is, it is, we have taken a path. We have begun a, a path, as I said in my testimony and in my written submission. We have begun, begun a path that we believe is in the will will ultimately benefit our users in China. If we determine, Congressman, as a result of changes in circumstances or as a result of the implementation of, of the, the Google.cn program service that we are not achieving those results, then we will assess our performance, our ability to achieve the goals, and decide whether or not to remain in that market. Are you or is your company at all ashamed of what you have done in this whole business? We're not a service provider in China and we don't have access to yeah, just uh, answer me user directly. information. The totality of the things that you and the other three companies before us have done, are you proud of it or are you ashamed of it? The products that we provide in China are identical to the products we provide worldwide with fundamental capabilities. Uh, the Taking the totality of your activities in China, there is nothing that you or your company need to be ashamed of. Is that your testimony? Our company provides Internet infrastructure. I, I'm asking a direct question. Is there anything that you have done in the whole period you operated in China that the company ought to be ashamed of? Our company provides access to information for people all over the world, including China. So your answer is you have nothing to be ashamed of? My answer is I feel that our engagement is consistent with our government's goals and it's a Let me move on to your colleague. ...comply with legally binding orders, in, whether it's here in the United States or in China or any of the other 90 countries... Well, IBM complied with legal orders when they cooperated with Nazi Germany. Those were legal orders under the Nazi German system. Since you were not alive at that time, in retrospect, having a degree of objectivity, which some of you are incapable of summoning up with respect to your own case, do you think that IBM during that period had something to be ashamed of? Congressman, we think that on balance, the benefit of providing the services that Microsoft provides... My question to relates China. to IBM and Nazi Germany. I can't speak to that. To, to you have no that view question. on that. I, 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 I'm not familiar in, in detail with IBM's activities in that period. Did you hear our chairman's opening remarks yes, on I that did. subject? Do you think those are accurate remarks? I, I, I take the chairman at his word, sir. I also take the chairman at his word. Assuming that his words were accurate... Is, is IBM to be ashamed of that action during that period? I, Congressman, I don't think it's my position to say whether or not IBM is to be ashamed of its action in that period. As to Yahoo, sir, we are very distressed by the consequences of having to comply with Chinese law. I spoke in my testimony that we condemn the persecution of any person for exercising the right to free expression. Uh, we are certainly troubled by that. Do you think that individuals or families have been negatively impacted by some of the activities which, which we have been told, like being in prison for 10 years. You are aware of those facts.